Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra three months free. The hangar business has always been objectively the worst business in the game to grind out for profit. Even when it first released, it wasn't that good compared to the bunker business that we got before it. But then if I remember correctly, they also got rid of the bonus that used to be on the hangar business, whether that was intended or not. But because of that, you got less money from the sales. Well, in the Los Santos Jug Wars update, Rockstar permanently tripled the value of Hangar Cargo, a very much needed buff to the business. But now the question becomes, is it worth doing the Hangar business even after the buff to it? And was this change enough to even get people interested in doing the business again? So I did a session on stream, I had a full organization, and we just sourced crates over and over until I maxed out the Hangar, and then we sold in that same lobby. Before doing this, I can't even remember the last time I ever did Hangar Source missions. It had to have been like years. But I wanted to make sure I got a good feel of the missions again because it's been so long. Now one thing I can say for sure is that the profit of the business is good now. It's definitely where it should be in today's GT Online economy. You're essentially making $30,000 a crate and then you have the bonuses once you collect a certain amount of crates that will increase your cargo value by a percentage and that differs for the different cargo types. However, and this may be an unpopular opinion, I still think the hangar business sucks. It needs some more work done to it and I'll tell you why. First reason is that the game punishes you for doing the business on your own. In a group, each source mission will give you a number of crates directly correlating to how many players you have in your organization, up to a max of four. If you are sourcing hangar crates solo, you are always going to be getting one crate no matter what source mission the game gives you, and I think that's stupid personally. How it should work is it should be random. Sometimes it can give you one crate, and other times the crates will spawn in a vehicle that can give you multiple crates in one go. Either that or just let us hold more than one crate at a time for the hangar business so that you're always making one trip, not having to fly back and forth four different times if you get a four crate mission when you're solo. And this way you aren't guaranteed to get shafted by the way the system is set up, but as it stands now, if you wanted to try to fill your hangar up solo, you would be looking at 50 individual source missions. No thanks. I know the way to use the business solo is to just get 10 crates and then sell after that, but at that point, you're not even getting the big bonuses that really drive up your profit, and plus doing it solo, you risk getting one of the worst source missions in the entire game, and I'll stand by the statement, the Titan Escort mission, all for one crate. He's almost there! <laughs> ah, yes siree! Any minute now! Two hours later... He's almost a quarter of the way there! This mission alone took us over 10 minutes to complete, but at least with a group, we got 4 crates out of it. Solo, you'd get a measly 1 crate for your over 10 minutes of time here. I really just can't get over how boring of a mission it is though. You have to sit there for 10 minutes straight, shooting down waves of the same two buzzards that spawn in over and over and over again. It's flat out fucking awful. And it sucks because overall the other source missions for the hangar aren't necessarily bad either. I actually kind of like some of the source missions, like the one where they give you a starling with unlimited bombs and they tell you to go bomb the base, that one's pretty fun. However, there is a chance that you get that slow ass titan that puts me to sleep, so I just don't even want to mess with the hangar business at all because that mission alone kills the vibe and bores me to death. Other source missions are also just poorly designed for an open world game in my opinion. For example, this one where it gives us a cargo bob. You think like, Oh, they gave us a cargo bob. Well, we don't actually have to use that vehicle, right? It's just an option for us. So you start taking off in your other vehicle that you'd prefer to use, and then you realize, oh, wait, we, we have to get in the cargo bob for the mission to continue. Okay. And then you finally end up realizing, oh, we can just destroy it to be able to use our own vehicles. All right, then. The mission forces you to get into the cargo bob before even giving you any other instructions. And if you have a group, it will also force your team to get in the cargo bob before giving you instructions. So what you have to do if you don't want to fly the slowest helicopter in the game across the map to get to the objective is put tons of explosives into it to blow up the vehicle, and then you can use your own vehicle to fly there. It's just annoying. Like, fine, give us a cargo bob as a vehicle we can use, but don't force us to get in the vehicle to then blow it up before continuing if we don't want to use it when we have a bunch of other planes and aircraft that we'd like to use instead. You know, let the player make that choice as it's an open world game after all. Let us use the vehicles that we spent millions buying and upgrading. One thing that I will say that's nice about the hangar business is the ability to drop crates over the hangar so you don't have to land the plane and walk into the hangar to deliver them. But really, especially for solo and wanting to grind out the hangar crates, it makes no difference. Because, yeah, you can drop the crate over the hangar to deliver it without getting out of your plane, but then how are you going to start the next source mission? Oh, by having to land the plane, get out of the aircraft, and then go up the stairs in your hangar to boot up another source mission from the laptop. Well, that's very helpful, isn't it? 
How I think they could remedy this issue is by letting us start source missions for the hangar directly from our phone. That way, when we drop the crate off on the hangar from our plane, we pass the mission. Then, from our plane, we can use our own phone to start the next source mission, and it would chain together nicely. Right now, it's still just an annoyance to do. The cell missions that we got for the hangar weren't that bad either. There might be some horrible cell missions for the hangar, but I didn't get them at this point in time, and I really don't have any drive to grind out the hangar again to fill it up to see the other cell missions. So yeah, although the hangar business got a buff to its pay, the gameplay or mechanics of the business didn't see any changes, so in my opinion, it's still bad. Just not as bad because you get more money from it now. You might think differently, and that's completely fine. I've heard people say that they should give the hangar a person that we can pay to source crates, kind of like how the CEO crate businesses did, and while that's an idea, I don't necessarily want every business in the game to feel the same, and I think that's what would happen if they did that. Instead, I think they should do what I said and first give us a contact that we can call, like our hangar mechanic for instance, that we can use to start hangar source missions on the go without having to land our aircraft after delivering crates. And then let us have the chance to source between 1 and 4 crates when solo while letting us carry more than one crate at a time if it's a mission with more than one crate. Or they can just put all the crates in one vehicle if it's a mission with more than one crate involved. So it's always one trip there and back. That would likely give me more of an incentive to do the business. Right now though I just think it needs a bit more done to it than just a payout increase. But let me know what you guys think about the hangar business after the buff. Do you agree with my statements about it or do you think it's fine with just the payout buff? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.